All of our elected officials, including our mayor, our law enforcement, community leaders, school leaders, and the community, the community, to really come together to formulate a realistic plan that we can all execute together to stop all this violence because our city deserves better. Our children deserve better. Dolph deserve better. We all want Dolph's, Dolph's legacy to be marked by service, by loyalty, and by commitment to our community, reaching back to elevate those around us. So at the request of the paper route team and his beloved Aunt Rita, November 17th will now officially be designated as the Adolph Young Dolph Thornton Jr. Day of Service in Tennessee. And not only will we do this in Tennessee through legislation, that means that Young Dolph has his own day of service on November 17th, just like Martin Luther King has his own day of service on January 17th. And to those who don't understand how we can name a day of service after this young man, I don't have anything to say. Dolph was one of those people, I've talked to so many people on this team and so many people from his family. He was one of those people who will meet you where you are. Whatever need you had, he would meet you where you are. He would pull you away from the people that he was traveling with just so he could have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and show you the respect and the dignity that you, reserve, you, you um, deserve by approaching him. And I feel like with our youth, one of the things we need to do is meet them where they are. We need them to understand that they're not killers, but they are kings. Just like Dolph understood that he was a king. And so November 17th will serve as that day where we engage those youth in order for them to give back to their community just as Dolph did. And not only in Tennessee, but special shout out to State Representative Erica Thomas in Georgia. The state of Georgia will also recognize November 17th as Adolph Thornton Day.